Everybody, how y'all doing tonight, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. I can't express it enough. So anyways, y'all, this is my part two um, to Jordan. You know what I mean? And um, all I tried to do for a lot of y'all is do the best I can at providing more proof with a naked eye. And I just feel like after this video right here, the second part to this video, um, there's going to be a lot of people that agree. And it's going to be even more people to disagree, and that's okay. But after watching both parts of the video, just question everything that you learned from watching the video, from all the proof that I've showed or the proof that I've said, that I've read. This, All of this is in front of you guys' face that you can find on yourself. You can find this information yourself. It's not top secret or hidden information, okay? We got to be smart. We got to be wise. So anyways, you guys, again, I don't know about you guys, but... I, I've already figured out how fraudulent the NBA is. And your favorite superstar is usually not that guy. Okay? And I've came to the knowledge when someone asked me in my comment session, they said, do all celebrities wear masks? And my response to that is, no, not all of them wear masks. Y'all got to understand that they, once they sign their deal, they may not have to wear a mask, but they need to do things like be seen with a fake family on TV. All of these things they got to do. They can't live a real life like we do. They may have a fake family like Steph Curry and his wife, you know, being Miley Cyrus. They, they cannot have a real life. So, of course, there is a, a great handful of celebrities that don't wear masks. Some just wear prosthetics to throw them a little bit off, off the naked eye. You know, so for an example, if you look at Count, um, Car Anthony Towns, right? I got a video coming out about that guy, right? But for everybody out there, ask yourself this question. His mother died of COVID-19. As soon as COVID-19 come out, he, she died. After that, the nigga went on to get COVID-19 himself. Okay? After, nigga get, after he gets COVID-19, y'all, what happens after that? They said not one, not two, not three, not four. Not even five. They said six more family members of Carl Anthony Towns died. Six more. You see how the number six, they can't do five or four, but they said six. Not seven, not five, but six. Anyways, your boy MJ, man, it's not MJ, y'all. We got to wake up, okay? And I, I hope when y'all watch this video, again, just question the shit. You get what I'm saying? Because it's right in your face. So, one of my subs, shout out to you, Joshua Towns, he put Jordan played in Chicago, Bernie was from Chicago, and played baseball in Mr. 3000, wow, 2-3, two, two alphabet, 3000 equals 323, okay, which is true, so, what I'm going to show you right here is, first is, you see Bernie Mac, y'all, I don't know if people paid attention, but if you, Bernie Mac, before he quote-unquote faked his death, his eyes was always yellow and always red, continuously. It always was yellow and always red. Okay? Now, okay, I thought I put it in here, but I'll do you one better. You guys remember, um, you guys remember the documentary, The Last Dance with Michael Jordan? What was the mean about, everybody was questioning him about? about Michael Jordan, his eyes are always yellow or always red. They're literally almost always yellow, okay? So if anybody's seen that documentary, it's on Netflix right now, if you haven't seen it, but if y'all seen it, y'all know what I'm talking about. Every episode, that nigga eyes was yellow. But even when you see Jordan on TV, his eyes are yellow. What's the coincidence that both of these guys happen to have yellow and red eyes continuously? So here go Bernie Mac in a movie, Mr. 3000. Now, what was fishy about this movie, y'all, is that he hit 3,000 hits and retired and found out years. And he retired in 1995. Isn't that the same, around the same time Michael Jordan retired before he made his comeback in the NBA? And what was so funny about him retiring almost identical the same year of Michael Jordan retired playing baseball is that he came back out of retirement because three of his hits did not count. So he came back to get those hits. With a, uh, and they re they finally retired his number. But he, what's the coincidence of Bernie Mac, right, playing baseball? Because your boy Michael Jordan played baseball the exact same time frame 
that Bernie Mac, which his name was Stan Ross on the movie, played baseball before he retired. So not only did they play baseball together, right? At the but they played baseball at the same time, retired at the same time from a movie to real life. So now y'all ask yourself that question now. Now, what's the chances of that? Now, I, I really want to hear people's thoughts in their mind instead of people fucking criticism because y'all are just only upset some of y'all because y'all can't accept this is the fucking truth. So again, this video might not be for y'all, okay? But again, if you don't believe me or my video, answer that question. You can't keep making excuses for these celebrities. Why would he do a movie, Mr. 3000? Why would he retire in 1995 in the movie to come back to get his three hits just to retire? Again, because didn't Michael Jordan do that? He retired, played baseball, retired from baseball to come back, just to come back and retire from basketball? Basketball, what, 2003, 2004? Because in this movie, I think Bernie retired 2004, and he retired from the Wizards in 2003. See what I'm saying? Like, come on, y'all. And again, with this picture right here, like I said, another episode of Yellowish Red Eyes, this guy I got. You know what I'm saying? Yellow Red Eyes. Another coincidence is, here's your boy Bernie right here, y'all. And I took this from a movie. Or, the, or You know what I'm saying? But this is Bernie Mac playing golf. Now, I don't know if anybody follows Bernie or following Bernie, but everybody knows there was that he loved golf. That was one thing he talked about. One of his interviews, he said, he said that a lot of people don't know that golf was actually a black man's sport. That they paved the way for black, for paved the way for golf, and it hurts him because the black generation doesn't appreciate or watch golf. It's more of a white man's sport. That's what Bernie Mac said, and we already know how Michael Jordan loves baseball. I mean, uh, golf. And again, that's Michael Jordan with the one earring. And then another person said in my comment, he said that's old school. First of all, let me just say this to to y'all: much respect and love to y'all. Y'all keep don't forget, I'm not a young nigga. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm 35, about to be 36 years old. I'm not a young nigga. Don't you, the one earring and one ear when I was growing up means you was, was straight. If you wore two earrings, you was considered gay. That's how they did, did it in L.A. You get what I'm talking about? That So the one earring thing was always an old school thing. Yeah, I get it. But when you wear one earring this day and time, not too many people do that in that same, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't, sit, like I said, what's the coincidence, man? It's too many coincidences. From these, both of these men smoking cigars, you know what I'm saying? Both of these men wearing one earring in the same ear, have the exact same teeth, by the way, and same and same lips. And then someone threw the height, and I said, look, not only is it Hollywood, they can adjust the height, but first of all, I don't know if y'all know, but first, Kobe is not 6'6". And I've seen seven pictures of Kobe Bryant and Jordan together. And some of those pictures, Kobe are taller, and some of those pictures, Jordan is taller, which means somebody is 6'4". If they both not, Bernie is at least six two six three, so you know what I'm saying. They are definitely the same height. And again, y'all, it's called Hollywood. A magician would never tell you his his tricks. He'll show you, but he won't tell it to you. Another thing I wanted to point out is this is the Bernie Mac show. I'm pretty sure we a lot of us watched this growing up. But what is his son name or his nephew name on the show? Jordan. Come on, y'all. Now, for all, all you non-believers, right? Because my job is to help wake motherfuckers up, right? You know what I'm saying? And and we're not like that. So the ones that be like, oh, yeah, you know, how, how can somebody clout chase, right? If your, if your page is not monetized. Y'all see my views. You see my subs. I clearly qualify. So ask yourself a question. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay? Just, I'm just saying, how can a motherfucker clout chase if I, if I have the opportunity to get monetized on my channel, not monetized? So, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 this is another example how people are attached to these celebrities. Why is Bernie Mac nephew named Jordan on the show Bernie Mac? Why is his name Jordan? Why is his name Jordan, y'all? Somebody, for the love of me, tell me in the comic section that be defending Michael Jordan. Why is his name Jordan? exactly because what a, another coincidence and again when something got that many coincidences that's because it's, it's just not a coincidence it's the truth but you don't want to accept the truth because what really at the end of the day what really is the truth i got something else for y'all too because a lot of people not gonna get this but 
all my YouTube truthers out there, shout out to all y'all. Much love and respect for y'all. I know y'all going to get this riddle, but a lot of people not going to get this riddle. But I know y'all going to get it. And the ones that don't get the riddle don't feel bad because a lot of people can't see that. Because, you know, when you woke, you woke. You can't stop seeing shit once you woke. Even, even when you don't want to see shit, you see shit. So look, y'all, the kings of comedy. Okay? Kings of comedy. Now, you see Bernie Mac, Steve Harvey. So picture of it, picture it like this. Bernie Mac, Michael Jordan, and Steve Harvey. So remember, y'all, just hypothetically speaking, we're going to say Bernie Mac is Michael Jordan, Steve Harvey. Michael Jordan, Steve Harvey. Okay? Let's go here. You got Michael B. Jordan with Steve Harvey daughter. Again, so we're going to say Michael B. Jordan with Steve Harvey daughter. They are doing a riddle. They are referencing Jordan. I'm not saying that Steve Harvey is Jordan at all. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying Jordan and Harvey, like Bernie Mac and Steve Harvey, the kings of comedy. And then look at this. This was in the shade where Chris Brown posted this and said, look, he said, Michael B. Jordan looks so much like Steve Harvey. I'm not saying that Steve Harvey is. I think I think Steve Harvey played the role of Richard Pryor, and I think uh, he plays the role of Leslie, uh, uh, Leslie Jones. And when I, I'll do a video about that later, but that's not what my video about tonight. So I'm just saying. Okay, that's the riddle right there. Another riddle for y'all. Okay. I also wanted to show y'all too that I had Google this. Are the NBA courts smaller in person? Now, I just wanted to Google this to show y'all because I know because I've been to tons of games, man, different states for free. You know what I'm saying? And we're not like that. But, you know, and I, I've noticed and I know a lot of people have too. I know a lot of people can comment if they just keeping it real and ain't trying to fucking lie or be a troll, they can all say the NBA courts are smaller. When you, when you, you, you ever been over your boy house, you know what I'm saying, anybody that ball, and you, you know your boy get that basketball court, you know what I'm saying, outside in the concrete and whatnot like that, and y'all balling, you doing all type of dunks. You know what I'm talking about? Because not only is the court short, you get what I'm talking about, but it's just not, it, it just there, so by the court being short and you got a little bit of hops, Man, them dunks about to be fire. You know what I'm talking about? At the end of the day, so the courts, everybody say I have been to NBA court, and when you're sitting courtside, it looks smaller than when you're higher up or watching on TV. It's not just the court looks smaller. It's the players look smaller in proportion on the court. Have anybody seen an NBA player in real life? I'm going to tell you all this, right? Every time I see an NBA player, they either way they either like freakish, their hands are freakish big, or they look like an average old person. The biggest person I've seen in real life, I said in real life, in person, was when I seen Cam Newton, he looked at like a fucking cartoon character. I mean, he he looked at unhuman, his body. looked at, He looked at so unhuman. Like, he literally looked like a fucking superhero in person. Okay? So, I'm just showing y'all. So, what I want to tell y'all is that when y'all see Mr. Air Jordan right here, don't believe everything you see because, again, I have a thesis on why and how he was doing that. Number one, it's not hard to dunk how Jordan was dunk if the court more smaller. Number two, the courts was designed designed from the free throw line that when Jordan takes off, he gets a boost. And I got a video. On this video, y'all going to see, if you pay attention, they're going to light up his eyes to the free throw line. And if you pay attention, when he jumps from the free throw line, he's going to go super-ish, super faster than usual, if, look, for, if I take off and I jump, right, I'm going to take off and I jump. I'm not going to get faster in the air as I jump if I'm already in the air. You get what I'm saying? But he's going to get faster in the air, and he does that every dunk, and nobody paid attention to that. So if you watch to the end of this video, you're going to see that, okay? Anyways, man, anyways, man, y'all have a good night. Open your eyes up, y'all. Wake up. From the 87 dunk contest in Seattle. Oh, and oh. there he goes. Baseline, the reverse. 47. Okay, I'll take the meek dunks in. He just goes 360 tomahawk hard. And look at that. Again, these beautiful slow low camera shots. LeBron, this is why you have to dunk. So uh, Wilkins beat Jordan the first round. All right. Both advance the semis. Yeah, wipe the slates clean. Jordan, high in the free throw line. Some inspiration from an NBA icon. Oh. I found the guy who started it all. Dr. J was sitting over there, he was looking at me and he pointed, like going back.
So he did that like spur of the moment. This wasn't a planned thing like it is now. He just went back and, and did his thing. More than 75 feet. Just a little over the line. Just a little. Let's go, brother. Let us see it. Oh, man. That's what the show off. 